Hey, there's a big party happening this Saturday at Waco Beach in Bridgman, Michigan, and Chris Morish and Scott Sullivan are here to talk all about it. Welcome to the show, guys. It's thanks, good to have yeah, you here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, so this is the, uh, is this the third annual Waco uh, Be uh, Brewers Fest? It is. Yeah. yeah hard to believe, but yeah. three years, yep. Yeah, now uh, explain to everybody, uh, first of all, Chris, uh, uh, what brewery are you with here? I'm from the Round Barn Brewery okay. uh, in Baroda, Michigan. Okay. And um, so we've been uh, we've been at it about uh, six years now. and. Yeah. and uh, uh, so and it's this is kind of in our backyard, so sure. we're we're real excited to to have some of the, our fellow state brewers yeah. and and uh, it'll be a good time. Yeah, well, I'm sure it will be. Now, Scott, which uh, brewery are you with? I'm with uh, Greenbush Brewing. Okay, and we've been around about six minutes, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> a little over a year now. Okay. <laughs> and you're in Sawyer, Michigan. Yeah, we're in Sawyer. Okay, so this is yeah. this is pretty close to you guys. And yeah. then how yeah. many breweries uh, will be represented at the uh, at the big brew fest? It's a dozen, right? I believe yeah, so. Yeah, a dozen, a dozen yeah. breweries. Yeah. So how many beers does that translate into approximately? Uh, about thirty, over thirty-five. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Pl uh, plenty of choices. Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> lots sure. Of choices. And uh, what did you bring along uh, for us to sample today? What am I going to have a little sip of here right now? That's actually uh, a beer for Round Barn uh, called our Black Magic, and that mm. is a uh, um, black raspberry and red raspberry infused chocolate stout. Yeah. Uh, so that we'll be serving down at the festival. Yeah, it's got a terrific taste. And uh, mm -hmm. Scott, you brought some beer along with you I too, did. right? Yeah, and this is actually, this is also a stout. This is our, this is called Dystopia. This is a Russian Imperial stout. Okay, well, I hate to drink alone, so. You know, yeah, no well, kidding. Right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. So, um, explain to everybody who hasn't been to the to the brew fest before how this all works because it starts Saturday at one o'clock and it goes till uh, seven, 7. p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and people park. You don't park right at Waco Beach. It's up the hill there in the industrial park area. Correct. And yeah. and then they take you take a shuttle, right? Right. Yeah, we and drive you down are, and drive you back. Yeah, right? no, I, <laughs> we don't been, drive you home though. No, right. <laughs> and I've been to the wine festival before, the same, mm -hmm. which is the same kind of setup where you right. park at the industrial park. There's plenty of parking there. The mm -hmm. shuttles are running frequently, so you don't have to wait very long. Just Correct. a few minutes, you jump on the shuttle, you go down the hill, and there you are. Yep. Uh, and you have a big, big tent there. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also going to have musical entertainment, correct? Yeah, music and food, and um, we, we make an afternoon of it, right? Uh, for sure. Yeah. And it's a, it's a beautiful setting, right on, you know, looking right at the lake and right, um, so right by the great. beach there people could bring uh, they can bring chairs right sure. so, some yeah. lawn chairs yep. that kind of thing blankets sit out on the beach yep. enjoy the yeah. sunset later on <laughs> uh, it really is a great center. and you got the concession stand there too if you want some, some ice cream refreshments or whatever but uh, uh, let's see the bands the mangoes at one o'clock Rebecca Ann band at three three o'clock and then Mr. Blotto at five o'clock uh, I've heard of Mr. Blotto, I, but all the bands that you guys always get are really excellent, like regional bands. Yes. Yeah. yeah we, you know, much like the beer that's going to be served there, we try to sure. stick regionally, and and uh, it should be it should be a, a fun afternoon. I mean, it's this this is a festival that gets bigger and bigger every year, and, mm -hmm. and um, you know we like to always bring some unique and different things, as do a lot of the breweries that are attending. So mm -hmm. there, uh, a lot of the stuff that you'll see there are kind of one ofs that you can't necessarily get in a sure. store, thing like things like that. So it's a, a great opportunity to to come out and. Uh, support mm -hmm. your local brewers. Not only did you bring the br beer here, but you also brought some ingredients here. What, we, what did you? What is this stuff that's out front here? What, explain to me uh, what that is, Scott. So these, um, this first, uh, these are these are barley malts roasted. Mm -hmm. uh, roasted. Uh, sorry. Uh, these. This is a two row uh, barley, which is makes up the backbone of most of the beers okay. that you'll do. Um, some beers will use wheat, but mm -hmm. barley is the the big backbone. And this then, is a crystal malt. This is okay. crystal 60. There's a scale of 0 to 120 that gives you different mm -hmm. colors of malt. This okay. gives you some of the caramel sweetness in a beer. Um, and this is roasted barley. And roasted barley you'll find most often in stouts and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, then, it gives some backbone to it. And then what's on the end here? What's this? Those are hops. Uh, these are whole cone, ah. in this case centennial. Um, these are from a hop farm in Bridgman, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got some other, are these more barleys? Or? Well, they are. This is actually cracked, so this is more like how it would actually be used. You can see that it, it's, uh, you, we crack it to, to mm -hmm. allow the, the water to get into it. Uh, okay. And this is actually a smoked malt. So if actually, if you smell that, it's, it, um, they actually uh, smoke that, that malt, and that gives it a unique oh, characteristic yeah. in beer. Yeah, you can really yeah. tell. So that gives the flavor and, uh, and uh, all those ingredients mixed in different levels and different formulas mm -hmm. makes yep. whatever beer you end up with. Yep. So. Right. Well, Scott Sullivan and Chris Morsh, thank you for coming. Good luck Our with the, uh, the Waco Beach Brewers Festival. It all happens this Saturday from 1 to 7 at Waco Beach. Uh, there's a place you can go for tickets, ticketweb.com, but also uh, uh, Waco Beach Brewers Fest 
www.ghostofthecitypodcast.com. And, of course, we'll have a link at our website. Guys, good luck with All the right. uh, party. Thanks. It should be All a right. lot of fun, I'm sure. Well, still ahead, Rob DeClean is here from Visit South Bend, Mishawaka. He's got some good news to share about a recent study. But first, the Spectator Sports Calendar. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.